So today we're back in Stormworks Sinking Ship Survival and we're going to be checking out the SS Yorkshire and folks this has probably one of the best sinks I've ever seen on a ship and it involves many explosions. So you want to stay tuned until the end, see if we make it out alive and let's jump in. Alright, so we're ready to crank up here in the Yorkshire. Now, I don't know what year this ship was made. I would say this is probably a little earlier than what we've been checking out uh, here recently. Kind of like, I call it the Titanic era. Uh, this definitely looks like it's a little bit earlier, but the description of the ship didn't have an actual date on it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure some of my ship experts can comment down below. About what year would you say this is from? But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get up. I think we have to crank it. Uh, down in the engine room. Komodo's having problems with stairs. It's fine. Uh, but we do have all of our lights here. So let's go ahead and turn those on here. Uh, oh my goodness, there's a lot of switches. But this thing is really, really bright. These are the anchors, by the way. Now, this thing does have a really, really cool sounding sink to it. I haven't actually checked it out yet. But trust me, the ship's going to explode and it's going to potentially break in half. So you definitely want to stay tuned until the end. All right, just checking out the bottom of the ship. We're in like the boiler areas. There's also like a cargo area up in the front. Uh, so yeah, we'll start our tour from down here because we're going to need to because I got to fire this bad boy up. But man, this thing is fully detailed. Like the whole interior is here. Okay, so there's six boilers to light here. Oh my goodness, there's a lot to do. Okay, so... Uh, condenser pumps on, uh, okay, okay, that seals the engine rooms, uh, lights, that's all on, alright, let's see, I know there's other switches here, let's see what else we have to hit, okay, here we go, okay, water injector, alright, so I think we're supposed to turn this all the way up, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and go light boilers, um, okay, something's happening here, uh, <laughs> okay, let's do that to this one real quick, hold on, let's turn this one up, uh, so what is it doing? All right, so you got the coal level here. Uh, boiler temperatures right there. Boiler pressures right there. So we need to turn the dampening all the way up. We might have to relight these. Hold on, let's turn this one all the way up. Okay. And then there's a feed valve here. Do I turn that on? And then there's an emergency release. I don't think we want to do that one. Okay, turn that one. So let's check. Okay, so the boiler temperature is rising. I don't think we've ever had a startup like this on any of the ships. So we got to do that for all six boilers here. So real quick, water injector first. I think the dampener was supposed to be next. Uh, so we'll turn that up there. Uh, we'll go light boiler, auto, Kohler on, and then turn on this switch here. And then, yeah, we got to do this for all of them. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have smoke pouring out of the top. Let's go and get moving first. I believe I've done everything right. We're about to see here. Uh, let's do the whistle. Oh, that sounds so cool. All right, so let's go telegraph up. Um, did we do the stuff right? Uh, hold on, look down here. Speed. All right, we are picking up in speed. Uh, okay, so we've done it. It is not a fast ship. Uh, I think it's top speed. I'll have to double check. It was either 20 or 30 knots. Okay, did confirm it's 20 knots, and uh, it was considered a record at the time. So, all right, we are cruising along. This is a lovely ship. So, like I was saying, full interior. Uh, you've got the lifeboats here. I don't know. Okay, raise, lower davits. All right, it looks like these do actually uh, deploy here. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess we're going to start from the front, so we'll hop over the railing here. Uh, looks like we're heading out to maybe the deep sea here. I don't see any uh, islands in front of us, which is good. Uh, so, okay, that's the forward steerage entrance. Let's go ahead and go maybe where the passengers would be. So you got the saloon class staircase. Uh, I like this ship. This is really classy looking. So you have like a little saloon. Uh, or I guess they would call that a saloon. Um, all right, this is B deck. So obviously this is A deck. Can we go further back here? No. All right, so we'll start down in B deck. Uh, I'm looking for maybe... Okay, here's the saloon cabins. Oh, these are nice. They each have their own little heater in here. You got like a little light. And yeah, you can go in all of these. You got a water closet here. Uh, you can go to the bathroom. I guess there's a, like, maybe a shower in there. So yeah, it looks like all these are fully done. And then this leads up to, I guess, what was called the steerage. Uh, I actually don't even know what that terminology is. Like, I've never actually heard of that. Just looks kind of like a like a general area where you go in, hang out. Uh, kind of looks like maybe slight dining. Uh, somebody can comment down below uh, really what that means. So yeah, uh, the ship goes further back. These are all cabins. Uh, we got a water closet right here. Uh, let's go. Wait, what are these? Okay, so this is crew only, so we're not. Oh, 
uh, purser's office. Yeah, there's a crew thing back here. I wonder if that's where the crew quarters are. We got the safes up here. I guess if you need to drop your valuables off, let's go ahead and open up the crew quarters here. Uh, so we got a refrigerator. This is uh, where you'd probably store all your meats. Looks like we have the kitchen. Is this the kitchen? Yeah, it's the kitchen right here. Uh, so this all looks good. All this turns on. This is such a neat interior. Yeah, I like it when it's all functional. So yeah, this is how you get down to the engine room, which, by the way, you can see everything moving uh, down here now. Uh, we'll go further back. Uh, crew quarters are back here, and it's called open space. Um, so it looks like there's another bar here. So are there crew cabins in this thing? Oh, this looks to be the crew cabins back here. You got like the double bunks. Uh, you can go further back. The tiller room. Um, so we got this back here. Uh, let's go back up. So are we all the way to the back of the ship? Uh, yes, we are. Very nice. And we can walk back here. Uh, yeah, overall, just a lovely ship. Uh, very functional. Uh, all the interiors here. Doesn't really lag much. Uh, I do have a little bit stronger computer. So if any of you guys have run this ship, uh, I'll be curious to see what it's like for you guys. So yeah, I think that's mainly it for the tour here. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to actually dive into the description of this ship, and we'll get an idea as to what's going to happen here on the sink. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really nice. I don't think we're going to hit it with too heavy of waves here. Uh... Honestly, I think it would hold up pretty well. Uh, it's not really top heavy, it doesn't look like, so we'd probably uh, take those on. Here, let's do a, a little bit. Also, there's a ship out to the left. Uh, what is that? Looks like a maybe a Coast Guard ship. Okay, so wind is going to kick up here. Is she going to want to tilt? It didn't. I don't think there was any warnings about weather uh, on the uh, on the description of the ship, so I, I'm assuming it's going to hold up pretty well here. And this is lovely. Oh, also, I saw a medic quarters. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to that section. It looked like there was an equipment room back here, too, somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, uh, handling the waves pretty well. Let's go ahead and turn into them here. Uh, I f Actually, no, let's turn to the left. I don't see any islands out there. I want the ocean to be pretty deep here. Uh, a lot of my sinks, sometimes they get stuck, even though I think this one's going to split in half, so it shouldn't matter. So here we go with the sink switch. So it says the ship will break in half, but only if you keep the boilers on and let them explode. Keeping all the watertight doors closed is recommended. So it sounds like this thing is going to blow up due to the boilers. It did say I could, uh, oh geez, almost flew off there. It did say I can go back down there and close those watertights. Uh, so let's go ahead and seal those up real quick. By the way, if you're wanting to know where those are, oh, it is nice and toasty down here. Uh, let's go ahead and click those. Uh, do I have to do each one individually? Okay, so let's go here. Um, obviously, we are prepping, like... <laughs> If we were dealing with the sink, in theory, this would help us a lot, right? Uh, let's go ahead and close that one. And we got this last one. This is actually the cargo area, isn't it? Okay, we went ahead and set the mood a little bit here. Since I figured out the ship actually is doing relatively well in these waves, uh, we're going to put it at uh, max waves here. Oh, these are big. Okay, hold on. Let's get in here. Might want to close the wheelhouse doors real quick. There we go. We're nice and sealed. Uh, let's go ahead and fight the waves a bit. Oh yeah, these are massive ones, but the ship's handling it fairly well. It is listing a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to turn into them here. Not going to lie, this thing is an absolute beauty here. Also, really well lit. And on, still trying to turn it. As I said, there was a uh, custom propeller made on this thing. Oh yeah, that doesn't look like the propellers in the game. That's actually really nice. All right, so I think we're ready to go here. Uh, let's experience this. So we're gonna, we want to unlock the sink here and click boom. So... How does this work? Are we going to get a... Ex oh, okay. There's been an explosion down towards the... I think it was the cargo area is where this starts. Um, are we taking on water? Yeah, this is one of those uh, weird ships where you have to go from the wheelhouse. You have to go straight outside in order to get to the interior. Also, there's a chart room back here. I didn't notice that. Uh, nice. All right, let's go ahead and close that. All right, so there's been an explosion in the cargo area. Uh, we should probably go down and investigate it real quick. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with. We do have the watertight door sealed, though. Uh, it was suggested to have that. Okay, let's go further down. Don't appear to have any leaks in here. Uh, let's see, how did we get to the engine room? Uh, smoking room. Uh, office, probably from back here, right? Uh, yeah, I've already forgotten how to get to it. Hold on, here we go, engine room. Alright, so we're going to do a little investigating in here. You know what would scare me if that boiler exploded right when we were down here? We probably need to watch where we're going to be here. Uh, Alright, let's go down here. Uh, let's see, it would have been up this way, right? Oh, let's open up this boiler room. Uh, oh my goodness. I'm actually kind of nervous standing beside these. 
Um, boiler room three. Where's the cargo? Okay, cargo hold. This is where, okay, yeah, you can see where the explosion occurred. Oh, um, there's water spurting up from the floor. All right, so we've sustained damage. There is no fire though, so we're good there. Oh, where did those go? Here, let's go up this way. Which room are we in? Okay, oh, it's the mail rooms. Okay, mail room definitely has a leak. On, oh, close that, please. Uh, wait, there we go. Okay, we've closed that. I'm not gonna sit there and leave the doors open. All right, so let's go ahead and let's seal these off real quick. Okay, we're back up top. Oh, I didn't actually see that you can look down there. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> I like how I noticed little things as we're potentially going down. So right now, everything's fine. Like, it doesn't look like the leak's too bad. So you know what? Now that we're aware of that, let's see. Where's the nearest island at? Uh, oh, my goodness. How far are we going? Okay, to the left. All right, so we're going to start turning here. Uh, we're gonna aim ourselves towards the island. We're still carrying close to 20 knots, so we're still at full power right now. By the way, if you wanted to look at the damage on the outside of the ship, there it is. Okay, that's that's a lot. I don't see any hatches. Uh, okay, so maybe it doesn't work like a lot of the other sinking ships where it's just a bunch of hatches open up. Uh, so maybe having those doors sealed is actually gonna save us here. Uh, at least give us enough time to get near those islands over there. That way, if we deploy the lifeboats, we might be able to get off. By the way, I absolutely love the whistle sound here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, the water line's going down a little bit. Uh, we're definitely taking on water. I just actually didn't really see much, though. Uh, maybe we should check those lower cabins again. Uh, boilers are still running, so nothing's happened down there yet. Uh, I don't want to really go back down in the engine room, though, uh, since it does say the boilers explode. I don't want to be near those because I don't know how that's going to work. That might be absolutely devastating to the player if they're right beside them because this ship does require the weapons DLC, so you know stuff's going to blow up. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just stay in the wheelhouse. We're not that far from the island. Uh, which islands are these? Okay, look. Uh, they look rather empty. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, so I had a lesson the wind and the rain. I'm just curious, like, what is... Okay, look at the front windows there. Okay, the front end is pointing down. I wasn't sure if it was, like, an illusion by the, uh, the waves uh, making it look like it was going further down. Uh, that's a pretty big amount of damage there. And if it's flooding, that cargo hold is rather large. I don't know how the water's supposed to get across, though, uh, and get to the boilers. Uh, I'll be curious as to how that works. Okay, we have made our way to the islands. This is a, a pretty safe spot if we're going to let this thing go down. Look how shallow we are now. There's almost not enough room for this thing to sink. Uh, I think we're going to turn to the right island here. Uh, I feel like I can get alongside it. Uh, we got to make sure we don't actually beat ourselves here. <laughs> There's a chance that might happen. Oh my goodness, this is close. Like, the intent is... Uh-oh. Um, there was a massive explosion. Uh, okay, that's probably not good. Uh, wait, do we still have... Nope, we're still traveling at 15 knots. All right, so one of the boilers just exploded. Okay, so you can see there's definitely a glow there. Hold on. We got to go look at this real quick. So I wanted to look down to see what the boilers look like. Uh, as you can see, there's water in here, and they one of them's definitely exploded. Uh, that's not good. Okay, you know what? We're going to go back to the stormy conditions. Now that we know this thing is going down, I like it to look as dramatic as possible. Uh, shall we? You know what? Let's go ahead and start to deploy those uh, lifeboats. We know the ship's on fire. <laughs> like, obviously... What was that? That was a big explode. Uh oh, the lights just turned off. Uh oh, that is a okay. We need to look at this from the outside. What is happening right now? All right, there are major explosions. Oh my goodness, it just split. Uh, what the heck? Okay, we got a big pro. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, okay, the ship has definitely blown itself, and I don't think we've ever had one explode and actually cut itself in half. All right, you know what? Can we release these? Uh, hold on. Can we? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, front half of the ship is going down. Uh, we need to probably make a break for the second half. Uh, thankfully, we're actually in really shallow water since we traveled over here. Dude, that's incredible looking. Okay. That thing is... The front half's already gone down. Like, okay. I think maybe we can go over to here. Uh, hold on. Let's try to get one of those lifeboats off. This is probably a dumb idea. I'm not sure this thing's going to sink enough to actually go all the way down. Like I said, we did a good job getting over to the island here. Okay. 
Uh, release this. Let's go ahead and raise it. Okay, and then lower. Uh, I think I have to be aboard to undo this. Come on, go over the side. Okay, jump on. Oh my goodness, uh, we had one of those slow-mo jumps and I just jumped over the lifeboat. Wait a minute. I think this is as far as it's gonna go down. The front of the ship is actually, it's gonna be partially out of water. Okay, not gonna lie, that was probably one of the coolest things, even though we weren't really deep. I mean, a lot of times people get on to me for not surviving and not like uh, doing the, the most common or smartest thing. And well, obviously we're by land. If we would have jumped, we could probably just jump off and swim. Uh, the lifeboats not being deployed probably doesn't matter, Han, and we can maybe get this one off over here. But man, that's such a cool ship. I like that it does that. Um, uh, let's see, on detach. Okay, so we got that one attached. Uh, try to detach the rear one real quick. Be nice to actually get one of these away. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, let's go, boom, detach, there we go. And then, oh, we got a flare gun. Wait, why is this, our lifeboat just flipped over. Okay, hold on, just fire that up into the sky. <laughs> Let other people know we're having issues. And yeah, our best bet would probably be to just swim to shore here. Uh, we got lucky with the placement of the islands because at first I thought we were gonna be in really deep waters, uh, but we kind of ran into these two, which is good. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the ship completely split in half and it's going down. The front half's almost completely submerged. Uh, it's actually, I think the back half of it's resting on the uh, the bottom of the ocean. And uh, you see the back, uh, the whole second half of the ship, it's starting to go down. The, the back side's kind of keeping itself up. That looks cool though. Um, honestly, there might be an air pocket there. Is it touching? Uh, hold on, let's see. It's starting to touch. No, I think it's gonna go down. Yeah, uh, basically there's gonna be just a tiny bit of the ship. Actually, if you wanna hold on to the pole there, that I don't think is gonna actually sink all the way. Same with the rear. So there is something to hold on to out here. That's cool though. I don't think we've ever experienced one that just explodes and then the boiler rooms explode and blow itself in half. Uh, definitely a unique ship.